Some of the first applications will be around the transportation sector for sure, um, but we've got great opportunities in health. At our conference in Shanghai earlier this year, we demonstrated 5G and how you can use 5G technology to um, remote uh, mentor and conduct surgery. So the ability to, to bring low latency to surgical procedures is, is something that um, is, is really quite interesting. And then we've got the whole, um, the whole area of consumer electronics and, and what 5G will, will do for consumer electronics and, and things like smart government. Many have been calling 2019 the year of 5G. Will people be able to use 5G services next year? And what are some of the policy and commercial challenges? Well, you know, uh, China is, is launching uh, commercial service very, very soon. And, and while we only have about 5 million 5G users around the world, China already has 10 million people signed up, ready to go once the service is, is launched. And in order to, to make that happen, uh, you know, we need devices. And uh, companies like, like Huawei and ZTE and Oppo and, and Xiaomi, uh, they're launching brand new 5G devices uh, now and into the coming, coming year. So it's... 5G uh, 2020 year of the device. While many brands like Huawei and Oppo have launched 5G ready phones, other brands like Apple have not. So what do you make of the different assessments over how soon 5G could be commercialized? Well, you know, um, first you have to have the networks and, uh, you know, and Apple primarily targets uh, a, a lot of the users in the United States. And in the U.S., while it has launched 5G services, it hasn't launched uh, a lot of consumer applications. So, you know, we don't know what the Apple roadmap is, but I'm sure 5G is, is, is clearly on that roadmap. And, and I would think Apple will be launching their devices fairly soon as well.